Hello everybody and welcome to Hive City, our little store here in downtown New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. Today we will show you how to make an awesome cardboard lamp. And we will show it to you in a way you haven't seen before. Because before that, you might have watched some videos online about people making cardboard furniture, but these things were either done by a machine, a professional cutter or a laser, or by a group of people. And these things might be things that you do not have at home. So what we will do today is we will just take a few household items and with these items you will be able to make this beautiful lamp. So stay tuned, this is going to be exciting. Alright folks, here we are. The things that we will need are very simple things. For example, the cardboard. Of course that is our most important ingredient because that's the material that we will use. But besides that, <clears throat> we need nothing else but an X-Acto knife, some duct tape, a ruler that will help us to cut the material and then depending on where you're from, whether you're from North America and you like to use that measurement device or you're from Europe and you're familiar with these devices, whatever it is, we just need something to measure. And then of course, a nail. So this is just a very regular, very simple nail, a fresh blade for a jigsaw. And then there of course is gonna be the jigsaw itself. It's just a regular jigsaw, you get it anywhere. So not a big deal. You probably have that at home. And if you don't, you probably have a neighbor who will be happy to borrow you one and this lamp wire that you will need to bring light inside of the lamp. Now this is just a regular IKEA item. So it's just $10 Canadian. It's pretty cheap. And before we get started, let me just say that one thing. We are not sponsored by anyone. So you will see some product placement in this video, but that is just a coincidence because we're not going to tape everything. So let's get started. Now this is what we're going to do. We're gonna make a few beautiful cardboard rings. Now I believe that you would agree with me if you would try to make those rings with only this little cutter, you would be very frustrated. I would be frustrated. So we need some help. So this is how we actually do it using a jigsaw. So I'm asking the cameraman to come a little closer. What I prepared is, <clears throat> I prepared this little piece. I did some measurements on my machine and now I built something that fits exactly in here. So of course I had to use my knife to cut that out and a regular ruler, but it, it fits right in here. And I have a second one that I will just glue on top of it using double-sided tape. So it's a very easy procedure. And then in a few moments, we will show you what we do with it and how we cut those rings. Time to use the double-sided tape. All right, <clears throat> we brought the double-sided tape onto the cardboard that we cut out previously and now we just bring it on this little piece. And here we go. Fits perfectly and the good thing is because we did some measurements in advance, we now know it fits just right into the machine. Wow, that was beautiful. But of course, in order to make it very stable, because once the machine is running, there will be vibrations, I'm gonna add some duct tape and duct tape that whole cardboard piece onto the machine. We're gonna do that now. All right, and here we are. You guys can see I duct taped the cardboard cutouts onto the machine, and now we will show you what we will do with the nail. I'm just taking this nail and I stick it right through the cardboard. Check this out. There it is. And now I will take this little thing and I will duct tape it to my table. <clears throat> because that nail, that's the one point that we will rotate around when we start cutting the cardboard. <clears throat> and now the most exciting part comes and that is actually the cutting. So what I did is I poked two little holes in my little cutout here around the machine. I hope you can see them. And um, here is how we're gonna go about that. Now this is gonna get loud, but good news for you guys is we will mute the sound. But before
before we do that, here is our prepared piece of cardboard and we'll just cut it, put it in here. And now, we'll come with the machine. Find the little hole. And of course, don't forget to plug it in. inside. Here are the rings that we have cut, and you can see the nice and clean cuts. Now, when you do something like that, you will need to exercise it a little bit. It's kind of hard to, uh, to find the little hole in there uh, all the time, and you will notice that it's depending on how fast you go, so it will require some exercise. But I can assure you, after you exercise, you will be successful. Now, in some cases, depending on um, how sturdy the cardboard is that you're using, you will even need to put something in the little hole that I poked in here in order to strengthen that hole so it will not get flimsy or whatever. So that is something you might want to think of and please keep in mind, you need to exercise it a little bit before you get started. Okay, <clears throat> so we have prepared a lot of rings. Now here's one thing you want to do when you have the rings. In order to make the direction of the light coming through more interesting, because the light will only, will only go along the corrugated part, you take all your rings, then we'll also clean them and just do something like that. Just do it. It's like, it's like shoveling carts. And also, yeah, this is gonna, it's just going to clean them up a little bit. Now we will start to glue them. All right, as we are gluing the pieces together, we're just using white glue, which is a very simple solution because white glue will become invisible once it's dry. And we just put it on here and go nicely all the way around. Now when you do that and you pile up all the pieces, you want to check all the time like this, if, if you're actually doing it straight. Because that is the most common mistake you can make by gluing it not straight. Now, gluing all of this took me about 20 minutes. And this is the upper part of the lamp. Now, this part is the top part. You see, it's more narrow. So you have to adjust your uh, circles in, in that area. And we do that so once you're standing next to the lamp, you will not look directly into the, into the light. Also keep in mind when you make a top part that this part is actually big enough for you to reach in with your hands with a light bulb so that you are actually able to change the light bulb. Now, after we've done this, um, we're gonna bring in the, the cord. So we have this very narrow part down here. Now, cutting this is very tricky and you might just wanna cut that freehand using a, using a knife because you're not going to see it anyways. Because if you take a cord like this, and this is just a standard nine Canadian dollars IKEA cord, I will just unscrew the top part and stick it right through like this. And then screw this part on again. And as you can see, this thing already will 
have the light bulb in. It's all ready made and you can buy that at Ikea, but you can also go to a hardware store or many other places like Home Depot or whatever. They will have these kinds of, uh, kinds of things. Now, we will finish the lamp now and in a little bit, we'll show you the finished result. We did it. That was great. Now, this is the light bulb I got today here in Canada. Now, you might want to choose a different light bulb depending on the availability in your country um, or the type of light you want. Please, uh, uh, one quick reminder, light bulbs have a tendency to get hot. So the safest choice always is LED. But you might want to have something different, like some different uh, effect, whatever it is, just keep in mind it's cardboard and it's, it's light and light is emitting heat. Now, let's turn it on. Wow, I love it, I totally love it. So, that's the lamp. And the next thing we're gonna do, folks, is I will now invite you home into my place and we will see that beauty in action. We made it. It's been a long day, but finally, we produced our little friend over here. We made a home together safe and sound, and I hope you have fun watching this video. Now, don't forget, when you make it for yourself, there are a few challenges with a little tool. Um, you want to test a little bit, you want to practice a little bit, because at the end of the day, making perfect circles is a thing, but I'm pretty sure that you guys can handle that, and once you handle it perfectly, you'll be able to make more and more lamps, all kinds of sizes, all kinds of shapes. It's totally up to you. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you all had fun, and please do not forget to subscribe. It was a pleasure. Bye.